the world has its ups and downs. But in order to live in the world without suffering, we have to learn how to train the mind so that it doesn't go up with the world or down with the world. In other words, you want to keep it on an even keel. This is what the practice of patience and equanimity is all about. Patience for dealing with things that are difficult to deal with. And the best way to learn how to be patient is not to focus on the difficulties, but to focus on things that are still going well. Otherwise, you pile more difficulties on top of the ones that are already there and just make it harder and harder to, to bear with them. When you realize you still have your strengths, learn to figure out where those strengths are. And there's still some good things, even when things are not going well. The same with the practice of equanimity. It's not that you just give up caring entirely. You simply realize there are some things you can't change, and you learn how to accept them, and then you work around that. See, what are the things that can be changed? You want to save your energy for the things that allow you to make a difference. So with the ups and downs of the world, we had a heat wave for the past several days, and now it's cooled down considerably. But you want to be able to make your mind even all the way through. So the next time another heat wave comes, okay, you're not taken back and back by it. Otherwise, if you sit around enjoying the coolness too much, okay, then that state of mind that's talking about the weather, making a big deal out of the weather, it's going to make a big deal out of the next heat wave. So you let the heat do its thing, you let the coolness do its thing. And you do your thing, which is to be mindful of the present moment. Working with whatever comes, whatever comes up in the mind that's not skillful in learning how to put aside anything that might cause any unnecessary stress or suffering. So try to keep the mind on an even keel, even though the world doesn't stay on an even keel. It swings back and forth and goes around and around. You don't have to go around with it. Otherwise, you go around you start getting dizzy. You've got your duties inside, training the mind. And you can stick with those, whether it's hot or cold or rainy or not raining. Don't let the affairs of the world weigh you down. The world may be large, but you want to make your mind larger. So the ups and downs of the world and the back and forth don't knock you off balance.